Hey guys, welcome back to Replica Title Shines. Um, my new belt has finally arrived after being delayed at its outgoing post for about three weeks. Um, as you can also see, new push button lights installed, which I think light up the belt's nice, looks pretty cool. Um, but anyway, it's about 10.40 at night, but we're still going to do this video, so let's get started. And so here it is. I'm sure you can probably already guess what it is by reading the very bottom right there. And yes, it is a brand new WWE Sharp Intercontinental Championship. Uh, but not only that, it has actually been re-leathered by Paul Martin and re-stoned by Paul Martin already. So I am very, very keen to see this. That's why we never do the full unboxing anymore. It's just... Too fiddly for the camera, but we'll try just the bottom wrap. Not too bad. Okay. First of all, the belt bag. Nice material, same as what was for the Undisputed version 2. Um, with the name on the front instead of the actual belt itself, since this is predating the V2. Um, but yeah. Really nice belt bags, really improved. Okay, let's open this up. Double zippers, kind of cool. And as you can already see, the back is covered. We will start with the back first. the leather beautiful obviously you can see the female snap side all the bolts covered right, except for the nameplate of course and the male side of course covered and as you can see there Paul Martin leather it's actually my first belt from Paul Martin um, I've been watching his work for years so I'm very excited about this and wow, wow, this thing is gorgeous. Really, really, the gloss on the leather is beautiful. The tooling, and even the snaps he uses, very, very nice. See there, more of the tooling. Now, Paul, in my opinion, is the best in the game, from what I've seen. Plenty of other great leathers out there, but Paul is my go-to, I would say. Wow. Only a small belt, as you can see my hand. But I already knew that due to my Big Zinc version. Which, as you can guess, yes, the next video will be a review comparison. Um, as you can also notice, which I, I forgot to mention, um, the W Shop one comes with the Dave Milligan style strap, as I have opted here for the Jamar style strap. So same as the figure zinc one. So therefore same as the one Rob Van Dam, Shelton Benjamin, Randy Orton, uh, Christian, this goes on, who held the version with this strap. And it's just my personal favorite. I'll show you. So rather than following the tooling across here, I'll show a picture on the screen now of the Dave Milligan one, so you can have a quick look. See so the tooling follows the shape closely and the snaps as well go in here and come out. Which is what this belt would have come with, but instead I opted for this strap. Thing I love about this belt, just quickly, wow, beautiful female snaps as well. And the tooling is just incredible. Paul's work is next level first time seen in person, highly recommend. Good thing I've got another belt over with him at the moment which I'll not spoil. Not only that though, the depth of the work on this title is definitely much better than the figure zinc, which I'll show more in the comparison. But as you can see, just a lot, a lot deeper, very nice. And the color is finally correct as well with the light blue rather than the dark blue. Fortunately, Australia has not been right, as I did in my other review. 
but that's what you, the price you pay for a replica. As far as replicas go, this thing is up there. It's got to be the best you can get as far as in the continental title. And also, as you can see here, we have real stones. I mean, wow. But we'll need to wipe down a bit of condensation and finger marks on there, but I'll wipe that after the video. But the real stones just reflect the light beautifully. Paul has seriously done an excellent job with this. And not to mention, too, the plates. The thickness of the plates, much improved. Look at that, that is stunning. These have to be up there now as my favourite in the collection, just as close as I will get to a real in the Continental Championship. And Paul has done an excellent job. Flexibility, very nice as you'd expect. And we'll only get better with the more use. I give it, sit it like that. Obviously it gets better with use, it's obviously a bit stiff. Yeah, that's an awesome belt. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, this is a very special belt to me, absolutely stunning. One of my favourite belts growing up. Still is, I love the contrast of the oval and then the actual rectangles. Just awesome, I'm in awe right now. And thanks to Paul Martin, this is excellent, awesome. As I'm sure both of you know who he is already, but go Paul Martin um, belts. If you want to have a look, he's got an online store too, which is where this was actually purchased from. Um, but anyhow, I'll be back with another video soon in the day, comparing this new WD Shop um, replica. As far as plates go, leather's a bit unfair compared to the figure zinc one down there. And that's me signing off. Thanks very much for watching, guys.